Hello everyone, this is Gary Gull over here at EH Industrial with my trusted friend, Freddie. Say hi, Freddie. How y'all doing? All right, good. Listen, Freddie, I want to tell everybody about this new updated etch formula or cleaning etching formula. We went ahead and added a better detergent to it and um, a different type of ingredient to kind of reactivate um, body oil, soap scum, and things of that nature, along with increasing the hang time. Uh, it's a thicker formula. I think it's got a better color too, easier to see. But I want to demo it to everybody, let everybody know, is that it's actually, see how thick that is? A real nice color here, look at this, everyone. And notice, I'm putting this on without gloves, okay? It's got really good hang time, look at that. Okay, see little suds in there? I don't know if mm -hmm. you see it, but it's a low suds formula. That's important. That's always was important to me. I didn't want a ton of suds. It would take forever to, uh, you know, to get the suds off. So we want the suds, the active ingredient, to kind of begin scrubbing this, this stuff. But you lay it on. I tell people three to five minutes, and then you get on it with a Scotch-Brite pad or something. But the main thing I want to share with everybody is... There's no reason to be using that brown etch anymore, people. That's like really crazy. I used to use that stuff and I used to make my own and that's kind of what led me to making this is I wanted something to do the job, take a nice fine layer off, but also something that would etch safely. Now this will etch just as good as any other cleaner. I'm taking this off just so people can see that it really does leave a good etch behind. Uh, I'll draw on it with a pen, I mean a coin. You know, like, once it starts leaving that mark, you know you're getting a good, it's starting to already take off, the, take off the glaze and open up the pores. That's pretty much all, all the, uh, the deepest etch that I would want. You know, I don't like an etch that takes forever to get the powder off or sand. That, that interrupts a bond or... You know, one of your guys is out there and he doesn't sand off all that stuff, the powder, it's, it's a problem. And actually, Selene's and the bonding agents work better because they do what they call wetting. You know, it's like in when we were in um, science class. You know, you get two slides and you put them together like this and you can't pull them apart. See that? You're pulling really hard. Can't do it. Well, that's wetting. That's really what... Uh, coupling agents or as we call them bonding agents do they, they assist with the wetting that's why on seriously acid eaten tubs I recommend a spray on primer because if you look at an acid run and you see these little vertical serrations on a bathtub if you just use a wipe on primer what's going to happen is you lose that wetting on a really deep gouge surface or an over etch surface because the product needs to wet. That's why you've heard people say Selene's work better on smoother surfaces. Well, they, they do in a sense because they wet better like this. You can't pull them apart. But what happens is, is here, if you've got these deep serrations in the tub, you know, you see, we've all seen the acid runs. Well, what happens if you just use a wipe on, then you get this little pop, 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 pop when it hits these serrations, right. it's like a postage stamp. Mm -hmm. It lets go. So a wipe-on primer really helps. It's an adhesion promoter, but it's certainly not a panacea or a cure-all. So uh, on seriously acid-eaten tubs, I use an adhesion promoter, power bond, and I use a spray-on primer simply because you don't have the same wetting as you do with a really smooth surface. So that comes with experience. So once again, epoxy primers, are good on rough surfaces along with an adhesion promoter simply because of the wetting and well that's it today folks as you noticed I've been doing this without gloves I recommend you wear gloves I'm not burning or anything but as you can see we are what I do with that coin really etched up dull here there's the marks you could never do that on an edge that's it for now thanks for holding the camera Freddie we'll talk to you later